Jin Lee Chun, hmm. Chairman of the CICC, welcome to Fund Forum International. You've been talking a lot today about relationship building with China, if you like. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I think it's very much important. F when we talk about relationship, it could be relationship between the countries, between governments, be between business communities, and also individuals. I think it's very much important for uh, either side to understand you know, each other. And uh, I think it will, it will really be important to spend time learning about uh, the history, the culture, uh, the policy environment of the country you want to deal with. That's important for governments, and China has been working very hard toward this objective. Ever since we opened it up, we tried to understand outside world better. And of course, we also hope we would be understood better. Do you think there has been a lot of misunderstanding and distrust, if you like? First of all, I would say uh, we have, we in China have uh, learned a lot about outside world, developing countries as well as developed countries. And the Chinese people, Chinese people's understanding of the Western countries, for instance, being very much enhanced, as you see, because of the uh, bigger exposure to your culture, your society, uh, by the media, by the movies, and also uh, tourists coming to the Western countries. And they can observe firsthand what's going on and what went on in this part of the world. And uh, also because of the tourists coming to China, because of business you know, missions, government, you know, to government contact. I, I'm happy to say that uh, more and more Western countries come to better understand China. But of course, misunderstanding is inevitable, and that's why we need to continue to enhance mutual trust and mutual understanding. One of the themes this week has been about new investments, new opportunities. Should mm. that be what China's viewed as by the asset managers here this week? You know, I, I think, uh, of course, China itself would offer huge opportunity, opportunities for investment from abroad, from UK, from other U European countries, from North America. And with improved regulatory system, with improved level playing field, and I, I would say the foreign companies would have very good business you know, uh, in, in, in the future in China. On the other hand, Chinese capital is looking for investment opportunities. We have Sovereign Wealth Fund, uh, CIC, uh, with which I was uh, associated with for five years uh, prior to my joining CICC. And uh, the private business people are also very active investing overseas, investing in European countries and North America, apart from their investment in Africa and other parts of Asia. So this kind of two-way traffic in capital flows, in my view, is very important. Uh, however, uh, there's still some misunderstanding. Uh, for instance, when the Chinese regulatory system improves, when the local companies are more competitive, uh, some of the foreign companies complain that uh, it's not so easy to make money today, implying that the investment climate in China seems to be deteriorating. That is certainly misunderstanding. You know why? Because it's not as easy as it was um, 15 or 20 years ago to do business in China when there were few you know, uh, Western countries. It's and too short term of view, if you like. And also, you see, uh, the market economy was in the process of being development, being developed. And there were so many loopholes in the regulatory system. So it was easier to make money in those days. Now it's harder. But I would say it's safer because you know all the rules and things are getting more transparent. If you know the financial risks, where they are, you should avoid those risks. And you can also cooperate with the Chinese companies to do business in China. Likewise, the Chinese people, Chinese business people, should understand the Western countries better to do business over there. For instance, they should understand the regulatory system in the Western countries is very rigid. Rigorous, I would say, and you have to follow all the rules in doing business in other countries. So it's very much important for the Chinese business people to understand your legal system, your regulatory system, and of course to understand culture as a people so that both can enjoy very good uh, business results, either investing in China or investing in 
other countries. One theme and one topic that's come up uh, this week at the conference is the idea of what new investment opportunities are there. Mm -hmm. And one of those um, mm -hmm. is big that's being talked about is infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So uh, global infrastructure projects. What's your thoughts on that? And is that something you're interested in? You know, infrastructure development in the emerging market economies were very backward. Uh, but over the last 20 years or so, you will see particularly Asian countries have put massive investment in infrastructure. So you see in Asian countries, we have the first class airports, roads, expressways, bridges, and telecommunication. In terms of all those in infrastructure facilities, I would say Asian countries, particularly those developed emerging market economies in Asia, are really very much comparable you know, with Western countries in this regard. And, uh, in certain areas, we are even better. Uh, but that's not mean that your economy could be very strong uh, without very good uh, regulatory system, without very good governance, corporate governance, without very smart, market-savvy business people. But when you look at North America and European countries, you'll find certainly they started with a very good infrastructure uh, since the Second World War, for instance, because a lot of infrastructure was destroyed in the Second World War. And so in the first 10 or 15 years of reconstruction in European countries, you see you build up infrastructure. But, but half a century later, I'm sorry to say that a lot of infrastructure needs to be upgraded. And if you don't do that, it will be very hard for the Western economies to, be, to remain competitive. Something like 40 countries are represented at Fund Forum International. Is that a great opportunity for you to absorb and impart mm. the current themes and topics? I think this kind of forum is very much important for the business people to communicate, right? But more I broadly, uh, I would say people should keep their contacts on a regular basis. Now here we can focus our attention on some of the critical issues faced by the business community, either in China or outside. So we can um, call government's attention to the regulatory issues, monetary policy issues, by giving the government some food for thought. But more importantly, I will say it's important for the business people to engage the governments, to have the governments understand what are the real problems. Should they be doing that in a collaborative way as an industry rather than as individual companies? You know, I would say uh, the government would have to deal with uh, different kind of sectors, different individuals. Generally speaking, there are a lot of, you know, issues, policy issues, which are common to all of the companies. But there are some specific issues the government would have to handle. For instance, when we talk about infrastructure development in European countries, how about energy? How about renewable energy? How can you reduce the global warming, you know, emissions? Uh, one solution might be to develop nuclear power you know, uh, stations. I know UK is not so allergic to nuclear power uh, development as some other countries are. But I do believe uh, we need to be rational. We certainly should take the safety of the people as a top priority. But that does not mean you should avoid doing something which is important. In my view, for instance, you know, in the uh, next half century or something, fossil fuel would remain the main source of energy. Okay, no matter how much we spend in uh, R and D for rene renewable energy, it would take a long time for renewable energy to really uh, support the economy uh, by and large as the as the uh, backbone, you know, energy supplier. So in this regard, I think. Uh, at least, for instance, the UK government is very rational, okay? And um, uh, I always said, if you can develop a foolproof camera, why not a foolproof nuclear power station, right? So this is something we need to do. And in terms of infrastructure uh, development, I, I was horrified to see that the bridge collapse in Minnesota in rush hour sending so many vehicles down to the river and some people were killed so 
this shouldn't have happened in the United States, you know. So I think it's very much important for developer countries to pay attention to infrastructure development. This is no longer the sole problem of the developing countries. What, in, what interesting conversations have you had this week so far and what more do you hope to have here at Fun Forum? Uh, first of all, I think uh, people are, are very much uh, focused on the free flow of capital and uh, certainly we need to work under a sound you know, uh, re regulatory environment. But I think uh, we need transparency, we need stable uh, macro policies, we need uh, political and financial stability. So if you look at all those discussions going on here, uh, there are two levels of issues. One is the micro, uh, people talking about how, you, how can you do well in managing all these hedge funds, you know, uh, wealth, wealth management, portfolio investment, hedging, something like that. That's certainly the, the attention of the business people. But they shouldn't forget about the overall... The bigger picture. Bigger, bigger picture. Global governance, you know, uh, I think it's important for, for governments to to cooperate so that there would be no arbitrage, uh, policy arbitrage, you know. And um, uh, also, uh, governments need to uh, work well with each other so that uh, uh, people will feel comfortable where they will invest. Because I always believe it's one way. If the Chinese invest overseas, they make money, and it's good for the uh, countries. And when, when, for instance, you uh, companies operating in China making money is good for Chinese companies, also good for your economy. So I always believe we need to uh, improve the capital flow in and out of each country. We need to improve the global governance. We need to improve the state governance, corporate governance in each of these countries. So conference like this is really very, very important for us. Chin Shan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.